turn enough of her wins and uh, appearances late in the competitions into tournament victories. So she's had just the one final this year at Doha. Off of that second serve, she takes such an offensive position and really takes control of that first shot. Boskova picked up the drop shot and played a fairly good shot back. Disappointed with that one because she could have done more with that forehand approach. She, uh, she has been far from untroubled on serve. Remember, eight break points, three juice games. Such consistent, good depth, especially from Boskova. Go, Made to measure. Pegula does it at last. Doesn't matter how you get the job done, as long as you do. For the first time, David Witt's off his seat and looking a little less edgy, and I'm sure Jess Pegula feels the same. Conceded as good by Miss Puskova. Ball is Pretty in. sure, no doesn't challenge. she, on this one? No challenge. Can the number three seed take her first opportunity to close the door? <laughs> what a way to play match point down. Pace and tempo. Now she's really rubbing it in. Doesn't it? You think of all those break points in the first set where she stepped it up. She took the one opportunity she had in that set, and that was it. Virtually done and dusted. Just ridiculous standard in the breaker from Pagula. Just that one mistake. It's out. Well, it took over two and a quarter hours. It was anything but a regulation straight sets victory. But it goes down in the books like that. 6476, the number three seed is safely through to tomorrow's round of 16. Yeah, safely through, but a few scares there for Jessie Pagula. She faced a lot of breakpoint opportunities, and it wasn't quite as easy as perhaps she thought it might be, but a very, very strong.